The northern lights have caused amazing light shows in the night sky, but this beautiful phenomenon could actually affect the ozone layer. The northern lights offer an amazing celestial spectacle. Although the phenomenon is visible only when it's dark outside, it can occur at any time. During an aurora, the magnetic field of the Earth gets distorted. A certain type of aurora is also causing the ozone layer's depletion. It is called isolated proton aurora. According to Space.com, an international research team discovered that the isolated proton aurora is to blame for a huge hole forming in the ozone layer. The hole measures about 250 miles wide. The evidence is pretty strong, as the hole formed below the place of formation of the aurora. Isolated proton auroras may not be as bright as the northern and southern lights, but they are still visible to the human eye. It is known that the explosion of plasma ignited by the sun brings with it high energy ions and electrons. These particles end up getting stuck in Van Allen Earth's inner and outer radiation belts, which prevent the particles from directly bombarding the planet and turning it into a Mars-like desert. Particles that reach the inner radiation belt can interfere with the Earth's atmosphere by penetrating the magnetic field lines. Its charge ionizes the atmosphere and produces oxides of nitrogen and hydrogen. Both compounds contribute to ozone loss. This, in fact, applies only to the ozone layer in the mesosphere, and the most important lower layer, the stratosphere, remains unaffected. However, isolated proton auroras affect the Earth in other ways. Although atmospheric ozone damage in the stratospheric ozone layer, often caused by human activities, is rapidly recovering, isolated proton aurorae still influence changes in the atmosphere. Space weather can disrupt satellites and electrical infrastructure, and charged particles also pose a risk to astronauts. The findings will help scientists predict fluctuations in space weather that could affect the planet's atmosphere.